Good morning, gang. We're out here setting up this camera. Bear with me for a second. We're out here in Culver City. And since we're kind of in like the vegan capital of the world, we're gonna do this long awaited I go vegan for 24 hours video. What sparked this is this man right here, Alec. Howdy. Alec is vegan. How long have you been vegan? Two years now. Two years. Uh, so I always see Alec eating vegan, <laughs> and he finally talked me in to going vegan for a day, which I quickly found out this morning means I can't wear my Birkenstocks. Why not? Uh, that's leather. And, so uh, that means I can't even touch leather if I'm vegan. I'll get burned. You can't burned. use leather or have used leather products. Uh, in your day-to-day -day life, or buy leather at least. So, I was thinking I was just gonna be this basic LA bitch, or this basic LA son of a bitch, and be plant-based, but no, we're going full vegan. There's so many people here that love being plant-based, or saying they're vegan, and then they wear their leather bags. So shout out to all you people out there who say you're vegan, and then you're not, because it really grinds Alex's gears. So, breakfast this morning. This is my first vegan meal of the day. Get All right, Steven. First meal today, kind of what I would always eat. This is yours. Uh, I'm going with, so it's a cacao shake. It has hemp protein in it, chia seeds, cacao, some other superfoods that I can pronounce, and then almond butter and oh, almond milk. milk. So I'm thinking this probably has right around 400 to 500 calories in it. And then I also got this like little muesli bowl with, obviously it has Pumpkin seeds, strawberries, bananas. That tastes like very earthy. It tastes very vegan-y to me. <laughs> but good, but very, very vegan-y. Like I'm gonna definitely put some, wait, is this vegan? Yes, it is. Yeah. So the whole plan for today is to show you guys what I eat full day. Um, I'm gonna go in there and get the, the nutrition facts from them, hopefully. We'll see if they have them. And then it kind of, kind of tally up what my nutrition is for the day. But all I know is I spent $31 eating vegan. So you freaking animals better be happy with me, okay? We're in LA, everything's expensive. The student has now become the master. <laughs> what I mean by that is I finished my vegan food first. I finished my vegan food first. That means I'm more of a vegan. Sorry, I love vegan food now. I also, I think it's amazing and want to tell you guys all about it. Do I, do, I look like, do I look like the people off of Get Out? I love it. Vegan food's the best. Well, you actually <laughs> right though. What's that? That was good. Um, again, quinoa to me is not a breakfast food, so I got yeah, weirded I out by that. Know. This was good though. I, I give it, the whole thing I give a seven out of 10. What would have made it amazing if this instead of quinoa was toast and avocado and egg. But they did have they did have avocado toast in there. I just felt like if I got avocado toast, I'd be just comparing it to my avocado toast with egg, which is what I love. So I didn't know if it'd be as good. If I just had toast and avocado, I'd be like, they didn't have flatbread though, they said. So, yeah, 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 it, would, it still would've been good. I think though that for me, eating vegan, eating out, um, I would have to watch the fat content in things just because I use a lot of MTC oil, a lot of seeds, a lot of nuts, um, a lot of, yeah, like chia seeds in here. We had pumpkin seeds, so. Thing, like I see a lot with um, veganism, like especially going to cafes like this, is it's more about how things look. Ah. So if they chuck on, like that could just be quinoa oats. Yeah. Um, but then they chuck on those fancy well, why, seeds in the corner and all that stuff. Why it don't looks they just so use pretty. rolled oats to begin with? That would have been amazing if it was just oatmeal. Maybe next, where are we gonna go for lunch? We're gonna be in West Hollywood for lunch. We're gonna go do a, a cool collab with, with Brittany from Gymshark. It's actually already up on my YouTube channel, so you guys can just go watch that. Uh, we'll go someplace fun. So that'll be vegan meal number two. I feel really good, but what I'm gonna also do is go get a coffee. Coffee and almond milk. That's vegan. <laughs> I think next time, next video, Alec, whoa, Alec should have to go paleo. Yeah, no, nah, not gonna happen. Nah. If this video gets five million views, you have to. I'll do it for a day. If it gets five million, okay. I'll do it for a day. If you guys wanna see a vegan just give up all of his morals for a day, let's get this to five million. I think the next video I can do will be paleo. 
I like paleo. I can do paleo. Again, but high in fat. I feel like you're in and out. Of you paleo? Make your in and out. It's pretty oh yeah, my that's the thing. My in and out is paleo, except for the cheese. I could lose the cheese and be fine. Oat milk, cold brew with a little bit of sugar-free vanilla, and a Lenny and Larry's cookie. This is gonna be for the road. This thing's amazing. Pretty shitty macros, but taste amazing. <laughs> We are now in Whole Foods. I'm on my phone because I've been kicked out of Whole Foods so many times when I try to vlog on my camera. But basically the good thing about Whole Foods here in America is it's a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables. All of those things are vegan. But I also usually get a salad with a lot of protein on it in Whole Foods. But I can eat this. Potato's gonna potate. And I'm from Idaho. I thought I was gonna do it. Um, yeah, some fruit. We gotta get some snacks for the road home because we're driving back to Utah today. So we're gonna find the salad bar. Is wine vegan? Some wine is vegan. Oh. One of my favorite, one of my favorite road people. snacks. <laughs> Beef jerky. Can't eat that today. Ooh, popcorn's vegan. Some popcorn. Don't get butter flavor. Remember that, kids. We we like this one. Though. Yeah, that's a good one. Of these. Alec is a chickpea eaten fool. Are you getting some of those? And he loves his cho dark chocolate almonds. I guarantee you. I guarantee you we get some dark chocolate almonds for the road. Yeah, here we go. What are we getting here? I'm a fan of Builder Bob, are you? No, they're all right. They don't have the cookies those are and cream. They don't have the cookies and cream ones. Yeah, freaking Morgan loves the cookies and cream. I just love my GTG Do you want a cookie dough? Or do you yeah, want a peanut butter? Cookie dough. Cookie dough. Maybe one of these for the road? Do we find a cold one? No. 17 grams carbohydrate? Get the F out of here. What is this one? 10 grams Eight. carbohydrate? This is bullshit. This right? 32 grams carbohydrate. Bro, can't that's I just get some protein? One. Can't I just get some protein up in here? I think you want this is my nightmare. I want one that's just protein. Wrong. Help me. I'm vegan. Turtles, fish. Yeah, Whole Foods. What are you doing here? Turtles, fish, seagulls, um, dolphins. Anything that can get its mouth or thinks that's a fish. Stop. We're talking. We're talking to you out there that take these six packs. Come on. Demand change for the sea animals. For the world. For the yeah. We are the world. Definitely gonna be getting my servings of greens. Good. Probiotic, the bok choy? No, oh. can't. Oh, you, no, you can't do not, that. That's not vegan. Fried chicken's not vegan. You can't do that. Paleo braised cabbage. That's a good probiotic. We're gonna go a little bit of this roasted garlic broccoli though. It looks tasty. I'm probably gonna be farting the whole way home. So. <laughs> All this fiber. Do you want any like beans and hummus or anything? Oh, I do love some hummus. Some hummus. Getting some of these for Ooh. some digestive enzymes. I like that. This is gonna be amazing. Oh, that all that looks meat quality. doesn't even look good because I'm vegan now. Do you want a, a beverage to salt this thing out? Yeah. His body's not gonna know what did him. Him with a probiotic and then all this vegan food. Your gut's gonna be clean. Yeah, you're gonna be <laughs> smelling it always. <laughs> Yo, that actually looks amazing. The tabbouleh, the quinoa. I just got enough hummus. I kind of treat my hummus like salad dressing and I just mix it with things. Mm. But I got some parsnips, I got a lot of, is it tofu? Tempeh, yeah. tofu? You got some tofu in there. And actually, that kind of is satisfying my taste buds needs for meat. Oh, and then Brussels the Brussels sprouts in here. There's a lot of good flavors. There's nothing about the flavors of vegan food, like when we went and ate Indian, the mm. vegan stuff's always tastes really good. Yeah. My biggest problem is the fat versus protein content on things. Yeah. Cauliflower, the buffalo cauliflower. I will say this. I had that for Christmas last year. When I eat, when I used to prep for a show, it was like I would eat so many veggies. And that's what I think when people go vegan, they do well. They eat so much more veg veggies because it helps keep you full. It's a lot of fiber. Mm. And then this thing, mango coconut. This one's lit. Four carbohydrates, so eight for the whole thing in here. So, fairly high carb meal. 
but it tastes amazing. But again, we're in LA at Whole Foods. My salad was $21. It's a, it's a big meal though. That's true. So here's the deal. We left LA um, about three hours ago. Been in some awful traffic. It's been pissing me off. Um, but it's time to eat a Builder Bar. No, it's not a Builder Bar. It's a Pro Bar. It's a vegan bar. It's cookies and cream, cookie dough. 20 grams of protein. That's not bad. And it's about the only thing that's gonna cheer me up right now because this traffic leaving LA is a pain in my ass. That being said, driving with my knee. I'm about to feel a little bit better. I still prefer my G2G bars, but they're not vegan, so I'm settling for this right now. I'm just making me a little bit happier because we have about five hours left in the car. But I'm gonna switch out here in a second. So, mm -hmm. cheers! Two thousand years later. Yo, is this, the, is this the last meal of the day? Yo, I've been eating vegan all day long and this one looks good. Wild rice, spinach. Yo, say what's up to YouTube. What's up, YouTube? At 11.40, last meal of the day. We have been going all day long, all day strong. Alec drove the last. Really, I drove about three hours. Alec drove the rest. All right, so Alec made this. Alec has been the MVP today. I think the biggest thing, again, eating vegan, there's definitely some, some ways of doing it that I would recommend and not recommend after today. The first thing I would recommend is don't eat out in LA vegan if you are on a boat. That's not bad. I'd also say learn about combining your proteins, grains, legumes, nuts. Here tonight, Pretty I have nice. eaten a, probably a little bit more to tofu than I've wanted to. Mm. And I'm actually, I did not eat any, or I didn't drink any vegan shakes which I thought I was definitely going to do and I should have when I was on the drive back home. But I didn't work out today, so I didn't have a ton of calories. We're gonna total up the calories and put them on the screen. But vegan eating, it wasn't all that bad. It wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. Maybe because we were in LA and maybe because I had Alec with me, but I didn't even wear leather today either. It's not true, I wore Birkenstocks. And your wrist, didn't you? Let me know, no. Oh yeah, that's leather too. It's okay, so it's plant-based. All of my plant-based bitches in LA, shout out, woo! <laughs> Next time, we're gonna do a paleo challenge. If you guys wanna see me do a full month vegan, five million. Th and this has to get a thousand, fifteen hundred thumbs ups. Also, that's actually pretty doable. Honestly, all I would say is if you're vegan, make sure you do your homework. And uh, just because something says vegan doesn't mean it's healthy, but, if you can concentrate on getting a lot of vegetables, I'll tell you, it's a very great way to maintain a healthy weight and to stay very nutritious with your micronutrients. But I was full the whole way home. I still haven't eaten dinner because I'm full. I know, it's crazy, right? And actually, protein bars, if you're vegan, they make some pretty good ones. That one was really good, so. Anyhow, we're signing off. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys again next week for one of these our Thursday videos have just been lit. They're having a, we're having a lot of fun. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think we should film next. And uh, bon appetit. Buenos noches, bitches.